Welcome to My Portal, the RLSS UK online processing tool. In this video, we will cover how to log in and show you how to create a course. On the screen in front of you, you will see the login screen for My Portal. To log in, please enter your username and password. These are the same as your RLSS UK My Page account. Once you've entered your details, select Login. This is the homepage that shows your historical information. There are three sections where you've been named as a course organiser, an assessor, or a trainer for a course. The tables contain the course number, the assessment venue, the qualification, information regarding the status of the certificate being sent out, the start and end date of the course, and finally, the assessment date. Now back to the top, you will see three tabs, courses, my training history, and log out. Let's add a course. Click on Courses and select Add a Course. This screen is where you will fill out the information of the course that you are organising. First, select the name of the qualification. Simply type the name of the award you would like to do. You must then enter the society number for the assessment venue and select Confirm. Now add in the training venue society number. If you're organising a course with AED, then enter the trainer into the Specialism Trainer box. Now let's add the trainer, course organiser and assessor details. You must make sure that the society number and surname are correct, otherwise you won't be able to add a trainer, course organiser or assessor to a course. If you aren't sure of this information, please contact these people directly. Please now enter the relevant information about your course. Enter the depth of the pool where the assessment will take place and specify if you are including the rescue board within your course. Please also specify whether you are using the rescue board, PXB or AED sections. Remember that if you select no to the PXB, rescue board or AED at this point, then when entering assessment results, you won't be able to indicate if candidates achieve this element of the award. Now enter the start date, the course end date, and finally enter the date of the first assessment. Click save and you'll be taken to the confirmation screen. Please read the terms and conditions carefully, confirm that you have read them, and click on save. Congratulations, you have now created a course on my portal. Please make a note of the course number as this will be important in the videos to follow. Thank you for watching.